Hi, welcome to another Inventor 2018 video tutorial. It's another user wish. It's sort of a drill. And I will try to do this in all programs as well. So let's have fun with Inventor. I will use some planes. So let's make those visible. And I want a plane with an offset to the exact plane, and that might be 29.5. Then another one at 30. And another one at seven five. Now let's go for a two D sketch on that plane. And this would look something like starts right here, goes over there, then goes up, then an arc. Then it goes straight up and a slide maybe like this and then close. So this one should be vertical. It's already vertical, that's okay. This point should be in that plane, so project that geometry inside that sketch, make it for construction only, and this point, that one right here, this one should be up there. Okay. should be an angle that angle should be 3.87 divided by 2 okay that line should be a center line that radius should be thirty three point zero four that distance should be one millimeter and that distance should be zero point that's a diameter so it's one and that sketch and that distance so that endpoint should be in that plane so let's project that plane make it for construction only and that point should be right there okay and there's another distance from this point to that one Come on. Well, let's say from this one to that point, that would be 38. 
finish that sketch. Hide those planes and make a revolve with that sketch and confirm. Now I need another sketch on that second plane right here. That would be just a point. So cut graphics, make a point right there in the center. Is the line? No. So put it right there. Finish that sketch and go for wireframe. Okay, now I need a helix, so go for a 3D sketch. Helical curve with revolution and height. Diameter should be 12.55, height should be 44, and 4.5 revolutions. And the start point should be that sketch point right here. And then it should go vertical and confirm. Finish that sketch and maybe go to shaded with edges. And I don't need the dimensions visible. Great. Now I need a profile, therefore I will need another plane in that point normal to that curve. This didn't quite work, so maybe hide those planes. that one as well. Okay, now let's go for our plane. In that point, through that curve. Nice. Let's make a 2D sketch right there. And we need some sort of profile. Let's go for wireframe. I will do it with a line, just a simple line. If you want a different profile, just draw a different profile. And this should go to that point right here. So let's project that point if possible. Okay. Not that circle. And align those two points. Finish that sketch. Make a sweep with that line and that path. Okay. Shade it with edges. Hide that sketch plane. Okay. Okay, so let's thicken that surface. Go to thicken that surface, make it 0 0.05, for example. And okay, make it to both sides. Hide that surface, okay. And now you could cut you could cut the surface or you could cut this whatever you want. So maybe I cut the surface so I go before the thickening. And show that surface again. And make a sketch on the top plane, this one. 
and I need a circle which sits right here and is 12.55 diameter. This should be for construction only. And I don't need that circle, but I would need projected that edge. Then I need another circle. And this one should be not for construction, but real one. And I need that edge, so project that edge as well. Okay. Now that circle should be tangent. to this one and to that one. Then I need a point which should rest right on that line and this should be on that circle and it should be on that circle as well. Now let's trim Finish that sketch, so that's on the wrong side, great. So go back. And move it over here. No. So that point like this and I want to remove this side. Finish that sketch. Yeah, make an extrude, make it a surface with that sketch in this direction and maybe like this okay then trim the surfaces trim with this tool this should be removed okay hide that tool this extrusion Okay, now another sketch on work plane 2. Again a circle, cut the graphics, circle, diameter 12.55, let's project that edge, okay, make this one and that one for construction, I need a circle, that circle should be tangent right here and tangent there, okay, then I need to project that edge so go for project this edge okay make that line right here this one for construction only top view another point which is on that line and is also on that circle and is also on that circle. Let's take a look. Yeah. Now trim the side. Finish that sketch. 
Make another extrude. Make it a surface with that sketch in that direction. Maybe like this. Yes. Okay. Trim tool. This should be removed. Okay. Hide that extrusion. And I got a nice surface. Now let's take a look. Yeah. Now I could thicken this with 0 0.05 for example to both sides and confirm. Hide that one. Okay. If you want, you can add fillet. Maybe with variable radius, whatever you like. Okay, and I'm done. So, if you liked it, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. And please like this. Facebook cat fan page because I want to have more likes on this page. Would be very nice of you. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.